Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're gonna give you an in-depth review of the Jazzy Evo 614 Power Wheelchair by Pride Mobility. This is a brand new power wheelchair that was just released and we wanted to give you the rundown on it so that you can know what to expect if you decide to come into one of our stores or order it online. Now, before I get started with this video, I do wanna mention two quick things. Number one, we have tons of videos on all of the power wheelchairs made by Pride Mobility, and we even have comparison videos that talks about each and every single one of them side by side, talking about the pros and the cons of each one. I also wanna say that if you want a copy of our brand new product catalog, it's free. All you have to do is go to our website, mobilitydirect.com, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out the simple short form, and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also wanna say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into our monthly giveaway raffle. We give away a free powered mobility product once a month, and all you have to do is just be our, a subscriber of our YouTube channel. As you can see, the last few winners on the screen, we gave them a free powered mobility product, and all they did was subscribe. So hopefully you're already subscribed, and good luck to you if you are. With that being said, let's get started. I do wanna mention that the 614 does come in a 614 HD, which has a better weight capacity rating, wider seat options, and an adjustable sus suspension. But aside from that, they're both pretty much the same. So I'm gonna bring out the 614 standard, and we'll start reviewing it. As you can see, it's a really nice looking power wheelchair. It comes in a few different color options that are all new modern looking color options, including iceberg blue, which is what this is in. It's a matte color. You have white, black, a purple, which is known as sugar plum, red, and a standard robin eggs blue color. They're really nice colored panels that you can switch out if you wanted to. Here we're showing you the flip up foot plate, the front casters, the foot plate is height adjustable. You've got some really nice suspension here, which is also adjustable. It is a mid-wheel drive power wheelchair, so it's gonna have an extremely tight turning radius. Now the 614 has a 300 pound weight capacity, a 22 inch turning radius, which is phenomenal. A top speed of 4.42 miles per hour, three inch ground clearance, 14 inch solid drive tires, don't have to worry about getting flat tires, six inch casters on the front and the rear. Overall width is just over 25 and a half inches, length is about 40 inches, and it does have, again, the fully adjustable front and rear suspension. It has an ultra comfort high back captain seat, which has some premium stitching on it that is like a moisture wicking and anti-absorbent moisture technology here. Really, really nice seat. I'm super impressed with the upgrade on the seats that Pride Mobility is offering on their power chairs now. It does have two 22 NF batteries. They're 12 volt lead acid batteries. Now the range, it varies depending on the load, but if you have a 200 pound load, it's gonna get about 21 and a half miles. If you're closer to the weight capacity limitation, you're probably gonna get around 18 to 19 miles. It comes with a 60 amp Lynx controller. Now, aside from the foot plate being uh, flip up, it also is depth adjustable. And the seat options are as follows. You can get a 16 inch wide by a 16 inch deep, 18 inch wide by 18 inch deep, or a 20 inch wide by an 18 inch deep. Now the HD version obviously has wider seat options. So if you need something with more weight capacity and bigger seats, I would check out the Evo 614 HD. You can also get a seat pan option if you wanna use your own cushion. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you some of the comfort adjustment features on this chair. So when you're getting ready to get in the chair, you can flip the armrests up, which sometimes makes it easier for users. You can also flip the foot plate up, and once you're in, flip it back down and bring the armrests down. Now this has the joystick mounted on the right side, but you can easily transfer the joystick controller from the right to the left side. Aside from the armrest being flip up, you can also adjust the height of the armrest. There's a little set screw right here. Use your Allen key that comes with the user manual bag to loosen that set screw and then bring the armrest up higher or lower and then retighten. Now on the back of the chair, you have the same style set screw right in there and a securement pin. So if you loosen that set screw, pull out the securement pin, you can change the width of the armrests. You also have a one inch universal hitch receiver here, which is gonna help hold different accessories like a rear cage style basket, walker holder, cane holder, oxygen tank holder, etc. 
Now, coming on back here towards the rear, you can see you also have the suspension which is adjustable in the rear. It has four suspension coils in total. Now, these yellow hand screws here are going to be used to access the battery compartment. So if you need to change your batteries, you don't need to take the seat off. It's very service friendly. There's also a panel that you can take off in the same fashion to access the controller for diagnostics and for techs to go in there and do any kind of repairs that may be necessary with the wire harnesses and the controller. So you've got your two 12 volt lead acid batteries in here. Just take these batteries out. There's a nut and a bolt for the positive and the negative on each battery. It's very simple to change the batteries. All right, so now that we've got the cover back on, just working our way back to the front, we've got a nice little storage pouch on the back of the seat. There is a recline lever on the right side towards the rear of the seat here, which you can use to slightly recline the seat or to fold it all the way forward. When it's folded forward, it makes it a lot easier to remove the seat. Make sure you power the chair off with the power button there. And you wanna make sure it's always off when you're getting in and out of the chair as well, just for safety. Now, before removing the chair, you wanna make sure to disconnect the cable for the joystick, which is right here, this little harness. Now make sure it doesn't fall into the, um, into the inside here, because it might be hard to fish out. And when you're ready, you just pick up from the back on the hitch receiver and one hand underneath the front, pick straight up, it's that easy. So as you can see, it's got a really nice shroud cover, a big main shroud cover. You remove those screws right here and you can pop this off and access everything in there. Now on the front of the unit, I wanna show you the brake levers. Just like all powered mobility products, you've got automatic electromagnetic brakes. So you can't push this chair right now. Without the joystick installed, the only way to move it is to disengage the brakes. Put those levers in the upright position and now you can manually push the chair. You can do that with the chair installed and the joystick on as well, but you cannot control the unit with the joystick if those brakes are in the off position. Now right here next to the brake levers, you've got a breaker reset button. So if you overheat your unit, it might shut off. Check to see if that button's depressed and then push it back in to restart the unit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the chair back on. So you wanna visualize the connection of the male connection with the female connection and level out the seat, let it fall into place. You'll know it's locked in when the seat doesn't rotate. You can rotate the seat with the rotation lever, which is on the right side. So if you wanna rotate the seat, you use that lever and you could face the chair sideways, which makes it easier to get in and out of the chair or for pulling up to a table to enjoy a meal. Now don't forget your power chair is not gonna turn on until you reconnect the joystick cable. Grab your cable, grab the harness, and reconnect. All right, now let's talk about the joystick controller. If you remember, we turned off the electromagnetic brakes by switching those yellow levers into the unlocked position. So if I try to power the unit up right now, it's actually not gonna work. And it's gonna blink red because the brakes need to be turned back on. It's blinking red five times. If you look at your user manual, the five blink code means that your brakes are in the unlocked position. So let's go ahead and lock them. After you put your brakes back on, the unit's gonna start working again as it should because it's a Lynx controller setup. Now, the power button is surrounded by a knob, which is actually a speed limiter knob. So if you go all the way counterclockwise, it's gonna go really slow. And if you go all the way clockwise, it's gonna reach its top speed. These lights are for the battery meter. So when it's fully charged, it's gonna have two green lights on, two yellow lights on, and one red light. The lights will start to turn off as the battery discharges. You also have a horn button and a standard joystick. Now, if you wanted to reroute this joystick from the right side to the left, all you have to do is loosen up the set screw down here, pull the entire bar out and reroute the wire from the right armrest to the left armrest, which also has the bracket and set screw. While we're here, I also wanna point out that the charging port is underneath the joystick right there. It uses a 12 volt, it uses a XLR 24 volt charger, which comes with your unit.
All right, well, that's going to wrap up this video. Keep in mind that we offer these products for sale tax-free. Shipping is free at mobilitydirect.com. If you have any questions, please give our non-commissioned sales experts a call. They'd love to hear from you, and they'd love a chance to earn your business. My name's Sergio. I'm with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, have a great day.